ladies and gentlemen, I am Yezreel. The game is World of Warships. It is Monday, the 2nd of October 2017. It is 2100 British Summertime. It is 2000 Universal Coordinated Time and something Continental Time. 2200, give or take. We're getting to close to daylight savings and that makes all kinds of interesting calculations. Numbers get awkward around about this time of year. No one seems to quite agree on when things shift. Hello, Realm Time. It's gonna be an interesting one because <laughs> we've got two ships to look at today. One of them is, of course, the Graf Zeppelin, who is back in testing yet again. And the other one is this. Yes. Um... I may not have given her an entirely fair crack of the whip last time. I mean, it's a light cruiser with Soviet guns. Maybe, just maybe, she can be persuaded to behave herself. Or maybe I'm going to be letting myself in for a whole ton of pain tonight. It's It could go either way, let's be completely frank here. Uh, the hung hair, at least I, I still have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that hung hair. Uh, who knows, I do not speak Chinese. XHMS Aurora, X Chongqing, served in at least three different navies, the Royal Navy, the Republic of China Navy, and the People's Liberation Army Navy, over the course of her career. Ended up historically as a barracks ship, I believe. Mind you, Graf Zepp was used as a warehouse ship for lumber, so... That's not exactly what you call a dignified career either. <sighs> this ship. This ship. Let, let's just get on with it. Um, I, I've been wrecked in this ship more times than I care to recall as stunt notes. It's an experience. Yes. And um, I'm not top tier either. I'm going to die. Although, granted, that was pretty much guaranteed in this ship, regardless even if I was top tier. So, <laughs> let's see. Here on both sides. Way too many German battleships for me to be comfortable with. We've got the flak advantage to an extent, but they have got to King George V, so it's going to be Bernie time for that. Oh, and they're divved up. Even better. All right. What is my plan here? Beyond bend over, grab my ankles and kiss my ass goodbye. Well, it's not going to be a straight barrel into point B, that's for certain. Turn south, crank the guns to port, and I think we'll just discreetly decide to go and escort that Colorado. I'm totally not hiding at the back. No siree, I'm providing a valuable and necessary service to the battleships by providing anti-air escort. This is completely and totally what I am doing, and not trying to provide the enemy with something bigger and more interesting than me to shoot at. And if I tell myself that enough times, I might even start to believe it. I doubt it's going to fool anyone else, though. Eh, yeah, I'll give this for her. She's... You can't even accuse her of being all that much of a looker. Those Soviet turrets look ever so slightly out of proportion. And Serbom's grats on getting Biscuit... You may find that you need some pudding to go with her, but that's entirely down to you. Alright, roll forwards, roll forwards. Needless to say, this is all, thank God, work in progress. We'll just hang around with this King George V for a bit. As I said, give the enemy something more interesting to shoot at, and hopefully they won't aim at me, although he is barreling straight towards the middle of the battlefield. This is... Hmm... This may not have been a wise choice of ship to escort. I'm sorry, my good sir, would you mind if awfully if I jilted you at the altar? Uh, uh, stunt, how about undergunned death trap? Because that would be a fairly fair and accurate description of her. Still, at least we're in a good position to cover against these bombers. Right, target 
on to the torpedo bombers. The uh, oh, oh, some of that stuff got awful close. Those torp bombers aren't in range. Looks like they lined up on the Mutsuki for some reason. Maybe they're going for a blind drop in the smoke. Yeah, and there's the launch shot from one, launch shot from two. Don't need to worry too much. Crank up, disappear into cover. And just hope nobody reloads before I duck behind this island. There we go, back into stealth, so that's Torpedo something. Support. Right, Mutsuki survived. I don't honestly know why they went for Billy Puppas and not KH-23's KGV. They would have been... Well, in truth, they would have been... They wouldn't have scored here anyway because I had defensive fire ready to go, but maybe they were just trying to disrupt the cap. Duck... Let it, never let it be said that Wargaming doesn't listen from time to time. Of course, who they listen to is a matter of some controversy in and of itself. But, um... Yeah, thank you. Yes, I, uh... I think I need at least five extra jaw muscles to pronounce that properly. Right, am I in main battery range yet? No, this is somewhat irritating. I would like, if at all possible, to s sit comfortably behind this large and comforting lump of geological armour and oh yeah, hang on all stop all stop all stop you're kidding me this large and comforting lump of geological armour is in fact getting in the way of my gun oh hello Fubuki hello Fubuki let's say hi to the destroyer shall we after all there aren't many things I can bully and this is probably one of them um, start there, rounds out, straddle, still two seconds on the reload, hit her again, more like it, but then everyone else decided to bully Bucky as well, also ow 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 ow, okay no I got away with that one, okay time to disappear, also is that, I don't know, I thought for a second that was Fort Architecture, but it really isn't. Right, lock on to this York, get a no shot at all because of um, reasons. Let's try a max range volley at that KGV, then reload armor piercing target the Emerald, lose contact again. And now we're nicely positioned up to escort the Colorado. This was just as planned. Totally just as planned. Okay, how are we doing? Well, for one thing, we're on point, which is absolutely where I didn't want to be, thank you very much. So, stand on the brakes. We'll just let Adam over there take a point and... Well, he's got the armour, let's be honest here. <sighs> also, can I get a shot on that? No, this is... I mean, it's... It's not even like Atlanta where you can abuse the low-velocity guns. These things are high-velocity Russian jobs, so you can't even fire over the uh, armour, for want of a better term. <sighs> Come on, slowpoke. Shake the lead out. I might get a shot on this York. You never know. Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, screw it. Colorado ducking behind cover. Might clip the orc, but I think it's all going to land. Yeah, it landed short. Damn. Okay. Come on, Colorado. Ye gods, who thought 21 knots was an adequate speed for a warship? Then again, time was when 10 knots was considered fast. Something around about the, what, 18th century? Early 18th, late 18th century? Okay, and he's breaking away, which is not entirely what I wanted him to do. Uh, oh, 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 no. Moderate, moderate, moderate. I'm going to have to match his turn. In fact, I'm going to have to turn inside him. Don't have a shot on the Lollorado. Okay, just feather the throttle, keep him nicely in pace. Remember, at the same time, I don't want to emplace my obscure my own shots. There's a Scharnhorst. Okay, well, the moment the shiny horse fires, we're clear to engage. There we are. Rounds out. 
rounds away myself. Dispersion is less than convincing. Okay, time to motor. While they're all shooting at the Lollarado, I can stand clear. Jensen is going to serve as an admirable meat shield. The battle shields, battleships roll in life after all. Battle shield? Yeah, I suppose it's as good a description as any. Oop. Burn, 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 burn. Okay, I'll save this for the guns. That seven second reload ain't too shabby. Um, and the Scharnhorst has panicked his damn cons. So if we can get him burning again, this should start to stack. Oh, that looks good. Did it start a fire? Did it heck? Right, uh, where's that gone? Colorado again, thank you. Straddled. Straddled at 12 kilometers on cruiser guns. Okay, I straddled again. Comrades, I don't know what you've been drinking, but it's clearly more potent than vodka. Please stop giving the Russians lessons. There we go. That's more like it right now. Adjust. Caught him midships. So if we start targeting his forward section, then we should be able to get somewhere. Just keep hitting him. Come on. Oh, shot high that time. He's turning in. Rounds out. Next problem is at the moment this uh, Colorado falls. The Sean horse is going to lock on to me. This would not be good. This would in fact be very, very bad. Why am I barreling bow forwards towards a Sean horse? Because I think I might be able to get a torpedo shot on him. Or because I'm just a delusional optimist. Okay. There we are. Four shatters! Yay! Bow armor for the win. Right, hit his superstructure. Another fire. Burn! Burn! Um, if you wouldn't mind burning, that would be much appreciated. Get Hydra going. There's the torpedo shot. Um, ow, 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 ow! Launch my own torpedoes. Yeah, that's how fast you can... Woohoo! That's how fast you can die in a hang hair if you get your angle wrong even slightly. Although arguably going close against a battleship was a colossal mistake to start with. Still, took the Shan Horse out. 24,000 damage. The worrying thing is that might even count as a decent performance in this ship because... <laughs> oh my god. Right. Well, we'll let the guys finish up here, and while they're doing that, let's go have a look at Graf, because, oh, hoo, 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 she is right, pretty much right back to where she started in the first round of testing. She's a torpedo monster, even if she does have, frankly, the worst fighters in the tier. So, grab the Graf Zepp. Let her load herself up. So, first and foremost, concealment absolutely sucks. Okay, I have not got a concealment camo on her. This is her baseline detection, 14.6 kilometers. So, if we slap on... Well, let's have a quick look. I've got a stealth module on her, so that's 10%. Actually, no, it's a carrier. No, it's 10% flat on the module. So, I could take another 16% off with concealment expert, another 3% off with camo. You can maybe get this down to around about 11, maybe 11 and a half kilometers surface detection. When you consider that the likes of Shokoku can get down to 9 and change, Graf is not going to be hiding anytime soon. Of course, she does still have those, frankly, worryingly accurate secondaries, which has given a couple of destroyers a rather nasty surprise. Fighters, tier 7, so they do benefit from dogfighting expert. Aside from that, however, even with upgrades loaded, these things are garbage. There's no other word for it. Dogfighting expert takes that up to 73 DPS. Now, just for reference, let's go grab Shokoku. I left her around here somewhere. Hakaze Mogami Shokoku, there we are. So, M1K5As. 77 DPS, so basically they're outgunned by, what, 
10 DPS on 60, 73, close to 16%. And the Shokaku's fighters carry 57 ammo load compared to Graf's, what was it, 67, I think. Yeah, so they have more ammo, but they do less damage. Don't get into a sustained dogfight with these girls and really, really hope that you can get your strafes to work. Spoiler, a lot of the time your strafes are not going to work. However, the Stukas, the Stukas have now got their torpedoes back. They have got the hardest hitting torpedoes with acceleration 38 knots, 1.6 kilometers. It's surprisingly hard even for me to miss with these things. Okay, note this, ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to see this very often at all. <laughs> Victory in the hang here. In the Hangar Mahai. I think that's the only name I can conceive for that ship. The Hangar Mahai. Because, let's face it, that's probably what's going to happen to anyone who tries to take her out into anything approaching a fair fight. One of those ships that is um, probably better back down at Tier 5, honestly. Now, okay, this could be interesting. One, two, three, four German battleships to bully, but they've got a Moskva and a Minotaur by way of flak, which are going to be awkward. Hipper and Charles are perhaps less of a problem. The destroyers I can't touch, except with my secondaries. And, well, a Lion, Freddy. We've got North Carolina, which gives us a bit of edge. We've got Zhao and a Neptune, so we've got a bit more flak along with the Hindenburg. And we've got a Kutuzov. And also we have a... Chiang, Xinyang, I think is how you pronounce that. In any event, it's the Tier 10 Pan Asian Destroyer. So that is something I was not expecting to see. They haven't let the community contributors have those yet. So standard drills get the fighters up into the air first. Worth noting, by the way, that the fighters, I'm not sure if this is actually visually modelled, have catapults. And, oh, I think it. Uh, maybe it models, maybe it doesn't. We'll have to watch the other line. It kind of models it. They launch off the centre of the carrier line rather than going for a rolling takeoff. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's just a genetic thing or if they're actually going to try deliberately modifying the fact that Graf used her catapults for most of her launches rather than the standard rolling takeoff that most navies used at the time. Anyhow, get group two out to scout B and C, put group three on the gap between A and B, stack the bombers off over to the west, and let's just have a look at you, cutie. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, come on, come on. Uh, if memory serves, this is an, technically it's an Allen M Sumner class destroyer. So think mini gearing. And, huh, yeah, well, he probably will be decent, especially if I can give him some target in photo. Oi, no, 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 you don't. Flak is bad. Flak is very bad. And it looks like we've got fighter cover appearing over there. The Moskva's there. Charlie is there. I'm going to back my own fighters off hard before I lose their need to Flak. Run the bombers around the other side because we saw both his fighter squadrons manoeuvring. Just got a glimpse of the other one over on the five line. Oh, and there's a Kagero. Fun. Well, good luck, cutie. Um, gunfight with a Fletcher and a Neptune. Oh my, you are going to suffer. Rip. Rip, Kagero. Also, rip my fighters if I'm not careful. Get out of there. Huh, he doesn't have air supremacy loaded. Not that it really matters. Alright, break clear. Let's see if he's lining up for a dogfight. Like I say, once you start losing planes in this thing, the strafes are absolutely feeble. Okay, uh, group two might... No, they're not going to live long enough to take advantage. Right. Uh... Alright, let's go for the Moskva. Group three, let's bait you over and if we can pull you over the Neptune then the dual purpose six inch guns are going to make a mess and you're not going to know about it until far too late unfortunately it does mean backing off your bomber strike 
Where are the rest of your... Oh, right, you haven't stacked your bombers. Okay. And you're pulling away. Now, are you trying for a saturation run on the destroyer? Because you're wasting your ammo if you are, mate. Okay. What is he doing? Don't really care. Go for the strafe. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Come on. One thing they haven't changed, by the way, is that the Stukas are still notoriously fragile. We'll just break away again. And even three fighters was quite enough to make rather a mess of that squadron. Now, if you don't mind, we're just going to stack them right over the guns of that rather angry Neptune. And possibly Fat Freddy and Zhao as well. So that will hopefully go my way, despite the apparently fair fight. Now, where's this Moskva gone? There it is, backed off hard. Okay, fine. No need to risk him at the moment. Okay, group three is idle. His, we know his air group is out of it for the moment. Ah. A gearing with Yugamov freeboard and concealment. Yeah, that's... I wouldn't say that was stupid, but I would say it was colossally overpowered. Okay, right. Coffee break for a second. As we've just seen, Graf's bombers are potent, but they're incredibly fragile, which means I have to pick my targets very carefully. That fact, Freddy's tempting, but it's right next to Missouri, so despite the fact that it's going to mean running across the map yet again, I'm going to line up on these two Bismarcks. In fact, oh, that Tirpitz looks like an even better choice. Nicely isolated from their flak. Re Group 3 is rearmed. It's gone static. I should be able to get in, line up and get out. Oh, damn, they've got a Charlie there. And he will almost certainly be loaded defensive AA. Okay, he'll be covering that Tirpitz. Change of plan, we're hitting the lead Bismarck. Maybe the... Actually, no, maybe the... No, lead Bismarck. He's still got 50,000 health, so... What? Oh, yes, of course. Z52 has flak, doesn't it? Ow. Oh. No, no, no. I tell you, it's not the Z52. It's the goddamn Minotaur in the smoke cloud. Yeah. <laughs> These things are not sturdy at all. So let's just risk it. Four bombers left, but three bombers left. For the Emperor. Well, at least the Charlie's popped its defensive fire. I'm taking what solace I can get. Also, they're getting way too close to my detection range. Uh, that's how fast you can lose Stukas, if you're not careful. Now I need to back off hard. Oh, wow, they have really got their defense up, haven't they? Good news, I suppose, is that we know Charlie's popped her... Is that we know Charlie's popped a defensive fire. So four, five, six, stack him up. Start running. Unfortunately, he's now got his fighters back, which is problematic. So stack the bombers. Oh, he's got his own bombers coming in as well. I need to take a risk here. Do I target? No, I can't respond to his. I can't respond to his bombers in time, so we're going to hit this Bismarck. Just hope for the best as far as those guys go. They've got a couple of cruisers. They've got a Fletcher potentially with defensive AA as well. We should be able to make a bit of a mess. So, group six, kick to starboard. You're targeting, like so. Group four, kick in. Cross drop. Group five. And loop back. I think I may not have given it quite enough. No, damn it. They shot down the bombers before the inevitable. And again, I have. Again, fighters park somewhere near a random flak zone and pop, they're all dead before you noticed it. Okay, retrieve the fighter squadron, start running. <sighs> and start replenishing, bomb replacing losses yet again. 
The only good news is I think the enemy Graf is having just as miserable a time of it as I am. Still, at least their Bismarck is gone. Unfortunately, our AFK Tirpitz has um, gone as well. Wait a second. No, I don't know who got the kill, but at least it wasn't the AFK Tirpitz. That would have been truly hilarious. Ooh. Plum misery about to eat torpedoes. Pop and pop and die. Come on. Come on, sink. I yell at them for not being able to kill a near-dead battleship, but honestly, at this point, I'm one. I'm one to talk. Four, five, six. Stack them up. Get them back into the battle. And we just lost our Kutasov. Terrific. Okay, so the murder squadron down to the southwest is something we need to ignore for the moment. We can't hit them. The Charlie's going to have recharged its defensive AA. It's very tempting to send a squadron to try and get the misery, but again, not necessarily the wisest, and I'd probably lose most of my planes if I tried, which leaves, well, no, I'm not even going near there. That's the Minotaur. Haha, <laughs> we've seen what that thing does to Stukas, and it is not pretty at all. So, as Dash says, welcome to what happens when you have a tier 8 carrier in a tier 10 game we could try to flank out this Moskva but I think the Neptune's going to murder it before we get to him yeah that's going to be over by the time we get there um, ah the Charlie is down Charlie did not apparently surf or swim so kick the uh fighters over as escort and we're gonna again hit this first Bismarck see if we can take it out and the Minotaur just murdered Freddy what a surprise on the bright side we just murdered their Freddy so I'll call that a worthwhile trade stacks of bombers and hello Frau Jack Let's see. And uh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now. That may have dropped a little too close. Well, it made a mess. Now, four and five rapidly go home. Group two on intercept. Uh, well, we lost one squadron of torpedo bombs. Unfortunately, those were all my spares. So the planes I've got now are the planes I've got. Um, I do not have any replacements, which is awkward. Keep Group 3 on standby to cover. Have they not killed that Minotaur yet? No, no, they have not. Yes, what is AA, she says, as she dev strikes a Monty. Um, the nice thing about the Tektri character is that they are longer ranged than Graf, so you can stand off at least out of the 20mm flak. Well, they did kill the Moskva, there's a surprise. Okay, group two, back off. Don't like the idea of hitting the same target twice on the trot, but really that uh, little cluster of Germans down below has got to go. Most, not least because they're about to kill our North Carolina. Okay. Group 3 on standby, Group 2 on standby and up to cover. 4, 5 and 6 are reloaded. We'll swing them south this time, and mm, maybe we won't. Group two, oh. Move fighters up. Again, I wasn't paying attention to the positioning. My own dumb fault this time. Luckily, the 109s are pretty nippy, so I can actually recover the worst of this mistake. And hopefully at least nail some of his squadrons, or at least disrupt this launch before it comes in. Disrupt that launch, there we are, that's going to 
minimise the amount of damage he takes, I hope. Six. Okay, he will have seen this. So, five, four, six. Right. Sync up the cross drop. Set one. Group four position. Group six. Set group four. Set. And this is going to do the job. Come on, one more hit, one more damn it. Okay, made a mess, but problem is I'm losing a lot of torpedo bombers. Still, set him up pretty nicely. 120,000 damage and blammed. So that's pretty much taken care of the threat on the southern flank. Unfortunately, that means the only target I can meaningfully hit with my seven remaining bombers is um, the Misery. Oh yeah, and um, we can have some fun with these guys as well. Let's see, two to one odds. How long do we think this is going to take? Place your bets. There we go, that wasn't the bad. Okay, that took less time than I thought it was going to. And Hashinaku takes out Xian Yang, but he's now very personal with a Minotaur. And I, well, he's got his torpedoes away, but that was a suicide turn, if ever there was one. Deep waters are running. He's not going to be able to break contact, but he doesn't need to. High X puts down the Minotaur. Pity, really. It would have been good to see those torpedoes in action. Right. Speaking of torpedoes, bombers up. Let's go find ourselves some target practice. Uh, 120,000 damage, and that's a fairly mediocre game. At least by the standards of the graph. Oh, speaking of the graph, there she is. We might be able to salvage some air kills, if nothing else. Then again, I don't think he wants to play. I don't think I care at this point. Let's face it, fighters in the hangar are basically wasted. Uh, yep. There we go. And I think that has deplaned him. Alright, four and five closing in. Actually, no, five and six closing in. We'll stack them, hopefully, out of five inch range. Bets, please, on how many of these seven brave souls are going to live long enough to actually get into torpedo range. Because I'm not laying too many odds at this point. Actually, no, forget the whole plan, because they're inside... They're going to have to go inside the graph's defensive fire umbrella. Uh, okay, this could be messy. Graf has, of course, got the long duration. Ah, doesn't matter anymore. That was it. Win, scrappy win by most standards, but 30 aircraft, 16 torpedo hits, 1500 XP. The other Graf basically had a miserable run of it. And as noted, 16 torpedoes for 118,000 damage. These things hit hard. And if Wargaming are going to go with the 230 loadout, they're probably going to have to rein the alpha damage of these fish back in just a bit. And maybe do something about the Stuka's health pool while they're at it, because I lost 56 aircraft doing that. Anyhow, back to the salt mines. So let's just take a look at the configuration for this thing, see if we can do something, anything, to improve it because <laughs> there really ain't a lot to work with. I mean, premium tier six camo standard stuff, it's really going to be in the modules and the upgrades. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot to choose from, so let's try swapping for aiming mod one. We'll trade off some flak in the hopes of getting a bit more accurate on the battery because that was a problem with only six barrels. 
Uh, Magazine Mod 1, so less fun and enraging. Damcon 1 and Rudder Shift. There's really not a lot else to choose from. This is half the problem. Hydro Mod 1's tempting, of course, but, well, this thing only gets standard Hydro, and at Tier 6 you're talking... 3km acquisition on torpedoes, 4km acquisition on ships, so... Eh. Basically, I think it's the politest way to phrase that one. Very, very meh. Uh, can't do anything else about the range. Maybe could stick a better captain in. Um, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do I really want to blow 100,000 free XP? to get this guy up to something approaching a decent skill set. No, I do not, but let's whack him up to seven. And, hmm. Four points to spend. Could go for Demo X, but just get a few more fires. What do you think, guys? Demo, Superintendent, BFT. I mean, these are... 152 mil guns on the main battery, so they're not going to actually benefit from basic firing training. I'm leaning towards Demo Expert, purely because that will haul her main battery up to... Let's see... 13% fire chance. So if we take that up to 15% fire chance, and then if we slap on... Well, we've... Oh, that is with the plus fire flag chances maxed out so capping out at 15 percent fire chance before reductions okay so we're going demo and then the next logical choice of course will be concealment expert just to try and get the detection down a bit further <sighs> this is like basically trying to play a british light cruiser with no smoke it's not pleasant. Mm. Stunt, until and unless they actually give you this ship, you will not be able to share the pain. You will not truly understand the pain. Okay, this is about as favourable a matchmaker as we're going to get. I suppose if we're near the Leander or the Fujin, I could maybe mooch off some smoke. Worth a try. Isn't it? Maybe? Perhaps? You tell me. And, well, yeah, we're going to follow the Leander and mooch off its smoke. Frankly, that sounds like the best plan for staying alive right now. Of course, that does mean I have to follow the Leander, which is not necessarily the wisest decision I've ever made. Okay, full power... Crack the rudder. General quarters. And hope that Leander doesn't think it's acquired a crazy Asian stalker. It has acquired a crazy stalker, but I have perfectly non-crazy reasons for doing so. The other problem, of course, is that I'm not going to get any warning when he slams on his smoke launcher, so... Heh, whoops. I could very well end up skidding straight out of said smoke cloud, which would be bad. I might be safer following Steiner. At least he drops more smoke. On the other hand, Steiner is also barreling straight into the teeth of danger. Ah, yes, that is what the crazy stalkers always say. Mm. It doesn't look good, does it? Okay. Well, let's go stalk the under air. I'm going to stop before I dig myself into any more trouble with that line of thought. Come here, little Fujin. No, it's nothing personal. I just want you for your smoke. Oh, air superiority? No, not on a bogan the Ziho. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six on the Bogues fighters. One, two, three. Oh, great. We have an air superiority Bogue on the enemy team. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. He's moved up and stopped. Bear in mind that that is a Fujin, so he presumably knows what he's doing. 
I hope. Maybe. Okay. Oh, and thank you, anyone. I see Nick for following. That's much appreciated. Oh dear, I'm suddenly popular. Um, smoke. Smoke. Uh, shut down the flat guns. Is that going to be enough to disappear me? Not even slightly six kilometer anti air range. Um, help. Okay, I think most people have. Okay, there we are. We're good. Kill that fire, fix the rudder, run away, duck again, um, switch the flak back on because so does it really does make no difference and then lock the guns onto that T-22 who is spotting me regardless. Um, where are the guns? Don't know where the guns are but there are some torpedoes over there. Hello little German. Um, yoink. There we are, only fired the forward batteries, but... Oh, clipped a man, got a fire, okay. Let's try not to attribute too much to Demolition Expert today. And although while we're on the topic... Good morning, Your Majesty. There you are, have something with which to warm your tea. Or maybe not. Her Majesty was clearly not in need of fresh tea. Evidently not a proper Brit. Maybe the French will appreciate a good brew instead. Um, maybe. Oh, clip 22 again. Hydro is coming off cooldown. Okay, that wasn't a bad little clout. Reloaded, targeted, fired. Smack, reload again. Okay, aiming systems has. Well, I would say it's helped, except it's just it really just exposed the fact that my aim absolutely sucks in some of these ships. There you go. Shouldn't have stopped, should you, Missy? Ooh, wow. Yeah, stopping was a mistake. Yoink. And just a little bit of torpedo beat as well. There we go. So we've got one Frenchy, one Queen, and the entire enemy fleet down to the south. Okay, let's go. Well, hunting the Roadrunner might not be the wisest thing we've ever done, might just be a colossal waste of effort. But if we can get an air spot on her. then that will simplify things considerably. Okay, Steiner. Similar idea, he's going for the cap. Well, Angle runs well, and there's the Emil. Let's see what the armor piercing can do. Start with some high explosive, because hey, it's in the breach. Oh, I think someone has popped their turbo. Now someone has definitely popped their turbo and is angling. Okay, a couple of rounds up the stern. Let's see how you like that, mademoiselle. Yeah, not too bad, but decently angled now. So settle for superstructure abuse there. Actually, ninja a bit of cap credit. Oh, another 2,000. Hit high explosive again. And with that kind of angle and evasion, I think we're just going to stick to peppering with high explosive while we wait for this to work. Okay, that was a close one. Hmm. Okay. Well, she's not doing badly, considering that she's only really firing four guns, and she still hasn't cranked that stern turret round, and also that nobody is actually shooting at her which means she's getting full reign to put these guns into play. If I just lead a little more, I should hopefully be able to start setting his bow on fire, which is something of a necessity. There we go, just tap, tap, tapping away. But really, this isn't anything that a Cleveland wouldn't do considerably better. 
also with twice as many gun barrels. Just Nin gently tiptoe round this uh, island. There we go, smacked again. And I think the Leander is going to get the kill if he has to set it's not to aim center mass. Uh, he's got the sense not to aim center mass. Okay, all the head full. Ooh, Zeho. Well, nope. Damn. Okay, let's, uh... Well, we're going to be in range in a second, and this thing doesn't exactly carry much armor, so... A couple of high explosive shots just to set a few fires. Close up to range. There we go, first fire. Set a second fire if we can. Yoink. And then we're on armor piercing. Oh, torpedoes incoming. What's the angle on comfortably aft? Right, toilet water line. Guns engaged. And the vertical angle basically means that it's all bouncing. Yay! Oh, did get one sister. Right, okay, new problem bottle sheep. Also, boost up that flak just for a second, get rid of the last torpedo bombers, and hose the aircraft off the Fujin just so he goes unspotted. And there's the other carrier, yay us! Right. High explosive loaded. Back out of protection. Since when does a light cruiser require expert marksman to keep its guns steady? <sighs> okay, he's... No, either that fire burned out or he's popped his damn con. Not sure which. And oh, hide behind the island. There we go. Managed to duck out of sight again. Let's see if we can get a shot on the Bogue. There we are. Rounds away. And Queenie just wrecked him. Ah, smoke, 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 smoke. Give. Come on, accelerate. Uh, get into that smoke. Let's have us some juicy, dirty smoke firing. I'm going to get there just in time for it to expire, of course. So, stern turret cranking round yet again. The gun crews are getting their exercise. Did we just seriously, did our carriers not move? Oh, and there's the Dunkeck as well. Okay, it's going to be Bernie time for the next few minutes, I think. Also possibly runaway time. Um, and cue the Nude. There we are. Are they in torpedo range? No, they aren't. Pity. Well, we'll stop. 15 seconds on smoke. I'm going to get... One more clear broadside. And then this is all going to start expiring and I have to move again. Oh, well, Queen's on fire. Let's see if we can get the toasted baguette as well. Also, torpedoes running, which may or may not accomplish very much. In fact, it's going to accomplish precisely Jack because the Dunkeck is now turning. Just keep the burn coming, I suppose. 47,000... How did I manage 47,000 damage in this thing? Also, it's looking at me. It's looking at me. It's looking at me. I don't want it looking at me. That is bad. No, 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 no. Don't look at me. There are more interesting things to shoot. There we are. I told you there were more interesting sh things to shoot. Good little Frenchie. There we go. And, yep, yeah, there we are. One toasty baguette. One 
rather angry toasted baguette. And he has popped his damcon. Okay, that works for me. Also, his main battery is now occluded. So again, unmask the forward guns. Get them on target. Uh. And there we go. Right, 50,000 damage and counting. Thanks mostly to some injudicious damage control from the enemy. Muzzle the guns, drop into stealth, lock the turrets over and time to find another firing position. Ooh. I think I might be a little unpopular around here. So... Well, I suppose you could claim she might have a niche as a mid-range fire starter, but really, Cleveland, frankly, does it better. It has double the barrel count, among other things. And better anti-air. And, frankly, better survivability, given that this thing is built off a Royal Navy hull. Plus points? Well, I suppose Russian ballistics. Generally, if you're missing in this thing, it's because you can't aim, not because the guns are bad. They do generally go where you point. Just keep using this smoke cloud for cover while we're running down. Oh, maybe not. On the other hand, I think he's more interested in the control point than me, so... Get his superstructure burning, then switch him over to his bow section. Try to get that on fire. Yeah. Oh, there we are. That's the second one burning. Switch fire again. Target is aft. It's a very nice aft. But yeah, other than that, everything about this ship at the moment is mediocre at best. So see, where did he get another damn con from? Uh. But no, as a harasser, as a second line ship, this girl... Well, she ain't too bad. I mean, how many fires is that now? Ten? That she started? And 70,000 damage. Oh, hello, Queenie. Excuse me. You are a far more tempting target. And you're on fire as well. Excellent. Yeah, a little bit of a pyro, this girl, isn't she? Provided, critically, that nobody is shooting at her. And speaking of people shooting at me, those guns are cranking around. Time to angle. Or maybe just try to kill him. But yeah, you definitely, absolutely, positively need... Seriously, high explosive. Oh wait, British Battleship. Ow! Ow! Two fires off one broadside. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, burn. Yeah. Apparently there can only be one Jedi in Montour. Right. Yeah, D definitely need WD-40 on this ship. So I think that's something we're going to have to consider adding, maybe even before Concealment Expert. But that would seem to be the... Holy crap, 88,000 damage. That would seem to be how you get the Hang'em High to work. You basically pray nobody shoots at you, which is not a good strategy for a cruiser in this game. Um, how did that happen? <laughs> Uh, let's have a look at the damage breakdown. So, 44,000 damage off the main battery and 44,000 damage off the fires. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we have just found this ship's niche, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> okay. Still think she's not brilliant, but, well... <sighs> Get something burning good and proper, and that would seem to be how you get her to do her best. <sighs> okay, so... 15,000 off 
a skill point. Okay, right, let's drop a bit more commander XP on her and crack on the expert marksman. Let's see how much of a difference that makes. Because right now we are now up to a 12 point captain to incorporate concealment expert. Unless. Unless we drop last stand, because we've not had any rudder hits. I think this skill here, last stand, can go, which will get us down to 10 points for Concealment Expert. Okay, well that's something to consider. Let's stick on a dragon. And a Zulu ho. No, nope, no, nope, maximum number of signals mounted. We'll take off the Sierra mic and just load for Commander XP. Full whack. Don't think there's anything else I can jam on this. Wait, no, I can change my camo, can't I? Pull off the premium camo. Just have a do a quick strip tease. Interesting pale, pale blue grey paint job that she has by default. Well, if seen similar things that's almost a post-war paint job isn't it and let's get her into yeah it's not pretty who cares it's more commander xp let's go cue the hilarious disaster Right. Oh, oh my god. Well, looks like the theory about setting fires from long range is about to be tested to destruction. Probably the destruction of this ship. Um, hi, Farragut. I'm s you're suddenly my new best friend. Well, I'm not going to try to get into Neighbours. Uh, the island's on the east of Neighbours. We tried that last time we took this ship out and it ended very badly indeed. Instead it's going to be down to point A, maybe make the cap grab and um, yeah from there let's load the high X and hope for the best. There's no cover to work with on this map. It's all high islands or no island. Uh, okay. Expert Marksman does make a bit of a difference. We'll just run up to speed, get moving. Once we've got some steerage when we're clear of this York, I'll start throwing the ship around, see if the guns can actually hold a target with full evasion. In fact, you know what? We'll turn inside this guy. Let's see. So they're holding against rate of turn there. Right, lock on. Let's see if they can actually hold up in a full power turn. No. Um, no, they can't. Even with expert marksmen, these guns are still being outturned by the ship. Not by much, but enough. So that's kind of a serious dent in this ship. Maybe they need to up her turret rotation a bit. If only so that with expert marksmen, she can actually hold a gun lock because right now she can't. So that's a f minor ding, it's a quality of life thing, but it's also a survivability thing, because in order to get a, hold a gun solution, you have to stop maneuvering, or at least cut to half rudder, which, well, in this ship, thank you very much, that's going to be a big fat juicy citadel hit if you're not careful. Still, we're behind a Leander and a Turpit, so let's just, make ourselves nice and inconspicuous. I'm totally not using the battleship as a meat shield here. And then see where it goes. So, Buddy, Algerie. Ha. Huh. Blimey. <laughs> All that Poor, poor buddy. Oh my. Wasn't the Turpits either. One of the Bismarcks decided to have a go. I think it was Cadian. So yep, 15 inch guns, Russian hull. Yeah, the British aren't the only ones with a tendency to disintegrate if you look at them funny. Now, 
There's a destroyer up ahead. Something else we should be able to do a reasonably good job of bullying. 32 knots. Just keep up with the fast battleship. Question is, what is it? I mean, with a speed like that, it's it's got to be the Podvoisky. With not with that with that kind of run out performance to point A. Oh no, it's the Farragut. Huh. Okay. Life's full of surprises. I would have made good money that that was Podvoisky's capture, but somebody must have loaded for speed. I suppose Sierra Mike and judicious use of engine boost could get you down here that fast if the deployment was kind, but now he's got two light cruisers chasing him down, and we know his torpedo tubes are empty, so... Close the range. There, there you are. Well, you have wandered into a Turbitz is no fun zone, and a couple of cruisers want a word as well. So I sincerely hope you know how to evade, my friend, because this is going to get messy for you. Very messy. And if he, the, if he, the way he's just turned, like, is he dumping torpedoes? Not sure, but we'll get the Hydra up just in case. Mayhan certainly could drop a sting in the tail salvo like that. Rounds out. Should be enough. Nope, but we'll let the secondaries murder him. Doesn't seem right to cheat someone of close quarters expert somehow. There we go. And Von Putkama gets his extra close quarters flags. Alright. A is capping. Just the Algerie north of us. And quite a lot to the northeast, including Pod. Huh. Gonna have to be careful here. Very tempted to stick in open water combat, but I need to walk run the range down a little. Again, really need that Turpitz to make a hard starboard and sort himself out. We've got Ked in as well, though he seems to be inclined to hold the smoke. So, lock guns for a second. Huh. Okay, the pod's the real problem, because he's on that corner. Problem is, the way those battleships are moving up, if I try to chase down that corner, by the time I'm close enough to engage, everyone else is going to be close enough to blam me. So, um, no, we're going to have to use Tobias to jam the cap now. Where are you? Just put some random speculative fire down. I don't actually expect this to do anything but stir the water, and it didn't. Again, map bearing. Oh. Detection. Could be, no, I think it was the enemy getting a look at me when I fired, and yes, it was. Okay, so jink, turn hard. Again, I don't like the fact that we're closing the range down like this, but kind of running out of options here. Uh, oh, there's the pod. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lock, 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 lock. Yeah, even with expert marksmen, these guns are still just a bit on the slow side to traverse. And, ooh, ouch. Get in. Knows how to shoot. Unfortunately, gonna have to break and turn to dodge that suicide salvo. So, enemy destroyers are gone. And enemy torpedoes are pretty much out of the equation, but I am detected. Uh, right. How to do this? Break away, I think. Circle round. Again, same tactics as we tried last match. Give the enemy something more interesting than me to shoot at. So, break away. Target. Not going to risk. Actually, could risk a torpedo shot, but I've got nothing to aim at. Ah, screw it. Speculative, speculative fish away. 
I get shot so that oh sorry 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 right rounds out over the island and just hope we can get some bones oh yes uh, starting to wonder if IFHE might not be a skill worth taking on this as well especially when you get gun performance like that locked on Edinburgh Really looking to start some fires. There we go, that will do nicely. Smack it again, turn in. Enderman's got something more useful to shoot at than me, so I'm being quietly ignored. And hipster. Right. Oh, change the plan, maintain the uh, high explosive because he's gone bow on. Going to be more use getting this guy peppered, burning, and oh wow. Well, it was a valiant attempt at a flanking charge, and he did take out the Farragut, but um, as exit plans go, it lacked a certain something. Life expectancy. Right, let's line fire on the Bismarck. And nope, we have avenged, I don't know who we avenged there, probably countless, countless ships. Not the Titanic, that much is certain. Okay, let's tap the QE. Oh, somebody was paying attention to me for a second there. Another breakaway. I think it might just be a transitory lock. Yeah, it's just transitory lock ons. His, he's trying to lock onto Caden, but he's keeps tapping me instead oh another fire thank you I will take that just let it tick up excuse me okay biscuit there you are let's go let's go for toasted shall we Turning, gonna going to eat a couple, but oh boy, unhappy German, very unhappy German. Only glancing hits, but that's still more than I attention that I really want to get in this ship. Come back, tap it again, looking for that superstructure fire. Unfortunately, we are getting a little too close to the no fun so far. I like we got the superstructure hit, we got the fire, and that's what we were looking for on him. So, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. No, he's put it out. Which means he's blown his damn con, so time to continue the torment. And yes, I'm passing up on the cap XP to do that. Okay. Loop back, get in front of the Bismarck. Definitely makes a difference having expert marksmen on the long traverses when you've got to crank this stern turret round, but come on. Just keep the damage coming. Actually hitting targets would be nice. Why have I got two lock-ons? Who's trying to kill me? No, 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 no. We don't, we don't like lock-ons. Lock-ons are bad. Um, mask up. Ow! That's why we don't like lock-ons. This is why this ship does not like attention at all. One significant hit stripped, what, two-thirds of my health pulled from that? Yeah. But that is... That is very definitely how you're meant to play the uh, hang em high, but not what I'd call a... Uh, uh, well, maybe it's just it's just not my cup of tea. That's the simple truth of it. I'm a bit more aggressive than is perhaps entirely wise, but yeah, as skill points go, I would say 
you're looking at expert marksman rather than last stand you definitely need priority target in the ship because knowing whether you've got ships locked onto you is absolutely key to not being bland and then concealment expert is your first tier four skill to keep things safe ish or at least let you get into a better firing position before everything goes to rats so 40,000 commander xp 66 you know what let's do it we'll grab that we'll drop the doubloons to redistribute then priority target expert marksman demo expert and concealment expert let's see where this goes so with this kind of detection we're talking 8.1 kilometers which isn't too shabby at all in fact that's very good for a light cruiser um fire chance of course 15 percent my opinion on the ship as it is now turret traverse needs a buff that's a given i think i don't want to say give her smoke because then what you get is a mini kutuzov down at tier six but well let's see how she does with concealment shall we because that's worth a try maybe if they gave her perth smoke so the portable f fog generator that might be worth a consideration i think is the best way to put it so that is set that is set i'm going to switch the camo back because i don't particularly see the point in blowing any more signals on this guy these things aren't exactly common after all uh, we'll keep the rest and we'll yeah we'll just stick with those basically these two signals victor lima and india x-ray are the two key ones uh equal speed charlie london can come off as well not much point actually yes there is some point in that because i just blew a ton of free xp didn't i gonna have to make all of that back at some point well i've got harakaze so that will help somewhat Let's see how this does with a stealth build. Well, so much for the idea of stealth build. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stunt? What? Oh, oh, st oh stunt. God damn it. <laughs> uh, oh boy right let's see who starts more fire shall we uh tier nine ammo versus um yeah uh, right <laughs> okay well you know the drill ladies and gentlemen give the enemy something more interesting to shoot at than me and in this case i think that's going to be well probably not deaths although i'm not even asking i who takes out a congo without camouflage um this guy apparently fair enough well he might be useful as a meat shield uh yes the question is what do the ballistics penetration damage and reload and refire look like relative to use this is the thing okay so a head cut down to a head one quarter don't really want to be in front of the buy and we'll just let him go ahead come on Lena off you go Do, 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 do. yes well russian oh yes you get full grade rail guns don't you not these cheap six inch knockoffs it's 
So, Bayern is now on point. We'll stick to three quarters power. I don't want to go barreling past him again. Pom, pom, tiddly pom. Now, is he going to refuse a forward engagement? Yes, he is, right. So, lock gun starboard, match his turn. Feed him a bit more power so we, he doesn't completely run away from us. And then pull ahead. I feel slightly sorry for the two bogues. Those reusuals can strafe and they can't. So it could have been worse. It could have been an independence and a Zuiho on each team. And in that case, it would have just been um, press F, ladies and gentlemen, press F. All right, full power. What is this Bayern doing? The problem is that I can't pull away from him because I need my meat shield. This is highly inconvenient. Back down to three quarters. Again, match his turn. Okay. Torpedo bombers incoming. Might be able to turn enough to protect the facade. Doesn't matter. The uh, fighters are in the middle of what can only be described as something of a massacre. Question is, the problem is the rest of the torpedo bombers are, I think they're about to eat that Budioni. Nope, the bombers dropped too close. So Ryuju messed up that particular strike run. He didn't lose too much there. Okay. Bayern is turning in. Team seems content to run a fairly defensive stance at the moment. Can I get a shot on that Alba? Um, maybe. Solid. Let's chance it. Maximum range. Rounds out. Probably just going to rearrange the geography. Well, just rearrange the water, in fact. On the starboard again, sticking with the Bayern. No destroyers, of course, which makes this kind of interesting. People are being remarkably cautious. Dippy toes, dippy toes. Basically, it's going to be the first team to blink, isn't it? Oh, high stunt. The decent shot on the Cleveland. The, I. Oh dear. Ouch. Okay, maybe the uh, Rouge did not get as quite a bad a strike run as I thought he did. Ow. Try not to smack the German. Insert your jokes about German drivers here. Yoink. Oh. No, 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 Good, good, good little fighters. Oh. Looks like someone's coming to play, doesn't it? Why do you think I've been hugging you for the last five minutes of this match? Come on, my friends. Come on in and play. Wait for it for it. Okay, he's committed. Crank it up. Defensive engaged. There we are. One gone. Focus fire. Start hammering number two. And his bombers have thought better. Let's just dump some torpedoes. Give the Alba something to think about. 
and on the subject of something to think about. Oh, hi, stunt. Cranking round. Load armor piercing. Let's see what the paparazzo makes of this lot. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Well, the penetration sucks, doesn't it? Come on, reload. And no more, Albert. Unfortunately, that does leave me somewhat out of position. Stump, were those yours? Right then. Whoop. Hook back up with our buddy in the Bayern. And what? Wait, what? What's our. Oh, God. Uh, Jim, I try not to get too involved with corpses. You, you have no idea how right you are, my friend. High explosive loaded. An Omaha and a Nuremberg. Could be... Well, we can disrupt it if nothing else. But this... It, this goes against all sane policy in this ship. I'm going to have to engage without a meat shield. Uh, good start tips. I would say, Chloris, try everything. Um... Once you get up to tier 3, a lot of the specialised branches like destroyers and battleships open up. So play a bit of everything, see what you like. Everyone's got their own particular style. Everyone has certain ships that they like, certain ships that they hate, certain ships that they would do probably highly illegal things to. Excuse me a second, I need to get some shots into that Nuremberg, but it's going to cap. Excuse me... Russian rounds don't fail me now. Thank you. Right, cap reset. Uh, I would avoid the Black Swan to begin with. The British light cruisers are a very odd line. And until you're used to how the game plays, then I would very definitely stay away from them. They break a lot of fairly fundamental rules about this game. In particular, they don't have high explosive rounds. Speaking of which, this Nuremberg... Well, we've just about managed to drive him out of the cap circle, so that's something. Okay, cap is stopped. But unfortunately, because of his weird turret arrangement, he actually has more guns pointed at me, despite the fact that he's running away. Still, he is on fire. That's something. Jink again... Oh, he used his damn con. Whoops, that was not a smart move, my friend. Not with, not with the Russian guns pointed at you. Okay, cue the torpedo beats. Oh, all skill, no luck. Hey, and setting you on fire is my trick, if you don't mind. So, break away. As I say, I don't really like anything engaging in this ship without a meat shield handy. So... As noted, disengage, break contact, back off. We've done our job, we've scared them out of the cap circle and bought enough time for the most of our fleet to turn round and re-engage. Unfortunately, they all turned round and re-engaged, which... <laughs> that was not in the playbook. I think is the... Uh, Best way to sum it up, only a couple of you guys needed to come back. Not all of you, because now our offensive thrust is going to cost us a Congo and might cost us the Furious Taco as well. Let's 
still, while these guys are running, problem is now they're battleships. So actually, no, maybe they did the right thing because the enemy battle line's about to show up here. Oh, hello, stunt. Okay, right. Coffee break. Need to think about how we're going to do this because, well, Pyronils is about to make himself very unpopular. I can maybe exploit that to try to light up the new mechs, but yeah, let's do it. We'll slap some rounds into that new Mexico, see if we can get him properly burning. And if we can soften him up a little, oh crap, someone's locked on, then that gives us options, particularly since the Koenig has backed off, but the New Mex is prosecuting the advance. So if they're going to split like that, that actually makes our job considerably easier because they can't support each other. No, again, no one's locked onto me, so this absolutely suits me down to the ground. Just start harassing this guy from extended range with high explosive. Again, we're hunting that fire. Also need to watch out for the map order at this point. Um, and stunt just wrecked the so Such misfortune. Yes, 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 I know it's in our cap circle game. Thank you. Okay. Maintain lock. There we are. Crack forwards. Bear in mind, he does overmatch me with those 14 inch guns of his, so. Ooh, something's locked on. Multiple somethings have locked on. Everything in range has locked on. Alright, time to muzzle the guns and disappear. Okay, break contact. Just wait for it to tick down. There we are. Now, hard evasive. Reposition. Rearm the guns and be somewhere else. No, 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 no. I do not need an enemy fighter showing up overhead right damn now. Thank you very much. Go away. Little planes. Although I'll take that fire on the new mechs. Okay, unfortunately yeah, so I've just fired my main batteries as a result. It's now another 20 seconds until I can disappear. Uh, on the bright side, the new mechs has been forced out of the cap circle. On the downside, we appear to have managed to kill exactly one enemy ship. And everyone else is dead. In fact, quite a lot of other people are dead. And now that Koenig's in the cap circle as well, so I'm going to have to... Oh boy. Ow! Plus no bully? Well, at least I can claim the new mechs. Maybe. Seriously? Yeah. Not exactly what I call a playmaker, this shit. And, oh looky, here comes everyone else. Hi, guys! <laughs> oh, bloody ashes. Uh, well, I have no idea how we're going to get out of this one. Oh, hi, stunt. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The enemy is about to win. Yes. Um, I think what we've just discovered is that the... Hang Hei is not a ship that's ever going to turn a game. 
Um, she's a support ship. She is a second line fire starter. And that's not really... Not really a brilliant thing to say about her. Honestly... I, I also don't know how to fix this ship. Or at least get it up to a decent performance level. A bit more turret traverse so that she can hold a lock with expert marksmen. That's without question necessary. I... Beyond that... Maybe if you gave her a Perth Smoke Generator. That might give her enough ability to operate independently that she does not have to be a total uh, uh, what's the best term for it that she does not require a meat shield I think is about the only way to sum it up um, more range more range will be a comfort thing um, rudder shift eh, yeah yeah Kiting cruisers wide look. The problem with kiting, as you demonstrated there, is that you run out of map space. Um, I was up against the southern border for a good chunk of that game, and, well, kiting cruisers aren't generally very good at pushing an area. It's a defensive tactic, not an offensive one. So, not my thing. But, well played, by the way. Eh. Still, 35,000 damage. It's not quite the absolute disaster that it was. Oh my god. Everyone else has some serious explaining to do. If after that complete... Uh, I think shit show is the only description, but um, yeah. <sighs> How did I come to? Seriously, how? How? That was a mediocre performance at best from me, and it still came top. Uh, someone get me some oil. I have enough material here to make French fries for a week. Okay, well, let's switch out to something similar yet different. And we're going to drop back to the Cleveland. Because this, if anything, is kind of how a fire starter should be working. Now, I don't actually have a trained captain for her at the moment. So, hmm, from reserve, who's eligible? Don't actually have any spare US captains. Bit embarrassing. Never mind. If we... Well, let's pull... Let's pull Archie off the Farragut and commence bribery and commence... Actually, do we need to? Yes, commence bribery again. So, similar idea, basically. So, priority target, expert marksman to keep the guns on, although I don't think it really needs it, demo expert, concealment... And with two points to spare. Well, let's hold them for the moment just to keep things a reasonably fair test. And while we're at it, we will also slap on. Okay, we've got the fire starter flags in play as well. So overall fire chance on these guns is 15% as well. Hmm. And I've got twice as many of them at the same tier. Okay, my detection is absolute garbage by comparison, but uh, Dark, Dark, you are, you should probably feel bad about that, but I know you don't. Honestly, 65 plane kills off a strike ranger. Ah. Yes, I would imagine that on the Russell Jaw Jimmies. I suspect there was a strike ranger who is currently farming enough salt to keep jingles going for weeks. Right. Okay, well, let's... That's as near a fair test as we're going to get, isn't it? So you know what? Drop into battle. Let's see where it goes. Adrenaline rush. Yes, yeah, so that would be worth considering. Also be worth considering for the Hung Hei. Although, from what we've seen of her so far, when she takes damage, she tends to take lots of damage and she, frankly, tends to explode. Okay, so what do we got? One carrier to bully. 
slightly friendlier map for low velocity guns and plenty of destroyers to chase this time so rather different setup but hey random battle is random clues in the name so basic plans pretty simple we're going to push up we're going to find ourselves a nice handy island and then we are going to rain hellfire upon everything in reach sound like a plan to me so the question is which island I need to stop with this one here just in case we've got the air because we've got enough elevation to block line of sight but it's short enough yeah short enough that we shouldn't have too much of a problem with shells getting interrupted so crack the gun starboard again turret traverse could be better come on guys you've got fresh tins of wd-40 down there get on with it and we'll just let things rumble into position so forwards 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 Park up behind this island and then just basically wait for targets. Thank you. Assuming our friendly neighbourhood destroyer spots us anything. Cut back to a full stop, just drift into position. Oh, we have a spot, but blinked out almost immediately. And yeah, we've got a pretty we're actually a little closer to the mountain than we should be really so we're just going to inch forward a bit use this lower section to the left here for cover let's see there's a Koenig, a Gneisnau, destroyer some kind ah it's a Leibacht and there's a there's a mountain in the way well that's inconvenient we'll just maintain firing position now then we've got this marker here yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I don't need to see you in order to shoot you. I realise that might come as something of a shock. Of course, apparently he doesn't need to see me. We'll, we're just going to get rid of that fighter squadron. Gun crews are on full alert. There we go. That's what was doing the spotting. So, with torpedoes closing in... And Lebe running like crazy. Let's start working over this nice now instead. Something else has got an air spot. Oh, hi, guys. Well, I have a catapult fighter as well. Have fun. Um, battleship ammo coming in. Ow. Yeah, this, this plan may have had a few small technical flaws in it. Let's just duck behind the island for a second. And focus down that, and oh, oh, an elegant lady as well. Fine, rounds up. Ow. Um, I may not have thought this one through. Torpedo beats. Yeah, I have definitely not thought this through. Well, this is going to be short and embarrassing. Um, right. So, as a demonstration of how not to do it. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. What skills do I recommend for a US cruiser? Well, um... Dodging torpedoes would be a good one. So would map sense. So would common sense. All of which I just displayed the complete lack of. Tell you what, let's just pop out to the port. We'll draw a veil over that. <clears throat> we'll come back to that one later. When I try to... Yeah, basically, priority target, expert marksman, superintendent, concealment experts. A pretty good core set. US cruisers have a rep as being anti-air cruisers. So... Well, you saw what the Cleveland did to those tier six aircraft when they came in. So you might have a look at 
basic firing or advanced firing training, maybe manual anti-air to round things out. Yeah, Dark sums up another good build as well. I tend to go full AA purely because I had some bad experiences at the hands of carriers. Uh, speaking of carriers, you know what? Let's just grab the graph, give her one last run tonight, then we'll try the Cleveland again. Mm. Yes, going static like that was not a brilliant idea when I didn't know what the enemy deployment was doing. At the late tiers, yes. Um, at the mid to high tiers... Oh god, please don't say that's a, an air superiority, Lex. Could be a strike. 48 air rating. That could be strike. Doesn't really matter, however, because they've got two Bensons and the gearing. Almost certainly all three of those are packing defensive AA. The Artigo is probably packing defensive. The Zara is almost certainly packing defensive. The Iowa and the Misery don't need to pack defensive because they've got far too much anti-air to be going on with. And the Conqueror is, well, the Conqueror 40 mil, well, 20 mil out the wazoo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Strike, but like I say, I think I've said it before on stream, Strike Lex is the only carrier, aside from another graph, that I'm happy to see when I'm driving the graph. But with the surface ships that they've got on the other side of this map... Honestly, it doesn't matter all that much. Um, this is going to get extremely messy. The only good news is it's going to be just as miserable for the Lexington. <laughs> One, two, three Iowa or variants, a Minotaur, a Baltimore, a Neptune, a ship. About the only thing that's not likely to be blowing planes out of the sky on our side of the match is the Shimakaze. Everything else brings far, far too much um, anti-air to the field. Yeah, bear in mind that US cruisers switch to 8-inch guns at tier 7, so Demolition Expert loses a good chunk of its value. That's really a skill for 6-inch armed ships. Still, fighters up and scouting. Bombers are stacked. Let's just push forwards a little. Go find the enemy. Go, ye heroes. Go and die. In fact, you know what? We're going to just toddle off to the left, I think. Looks like the main fleet's going for an A-B deployment. We'll push forwards again to three. We'll know when we found the enemy. The planes will be falling out of the sky. There we are. So something's in A. It's the Benson. Let's get group, hover group 3 for a second. Something's in group 2 as well. Just nudge forwards again. Spot the uh, Benson. So there's the Edinburgh. Oh, they found the gearing. And immediately put off. And yeah, that's a strike lex. Right, so immediate cover on our Benson. Push forwards. 4, 5, 6. Run it forwards. Okay, almighty war is fun and enrages the Edinburgh. Whoopsie. Right, group two. Hit it, guys. I'm, I'm not going to get any time to stop the massacre, but I can make him pay for it. Okay, circle round again. Hit them again. Come on, come on, come on, get your backsides in gear. Okay. Kick group two up again. No, don't. Well, we wrecked a significant portion of his uh, air attack capability there, and that misery is turning just absolutely perfectly for a quick strike. Um, I want to group six in on that one as well, if you don't mind, guys. Group four are maybe going to get a couple of hits. Yep. Group six, even no, they're going to miss. 
Well, we might clip a few. Nope, just the one extra from that. Maybe not even that. Ah, uh, damn that aft. Okay, group three on defensive stations. Actually, no, group three cover the misery. Um, group two, reposition, launch, cover the main group. Four, five, and six, rearm, relaunch. Uh, yeah, I think he had evasive maneuvers on as well. That would kind of cover why he A, didn't break away the way he did, and B, um, didn't go down as fast as I was expecting him to, and I've just lost two planes to gearing. If I back him off, the Missouri's dead anyway. Best he can really hope for is to ram the Freddy. Unless he thinks he can get away with an exchange of broadsides. Come on, you are not getting out of that one alive, my friend. But with a... Oh, didn't actually mean to do that. But with a death ball to the north and... Oh, well, and far too much flak to the south. How does he think he's going to get out of that in one piece? Why didn't he just go for the ram? Destination reached. Oh, well, we'll never know the answer to that one. Time to set up on the Freddy, I think. Fighter in position to cover the Iowa. Fighter in position to cover the main fleet. And if you guys could murder that... Benson, that would be appreciated. Every little helps. In fact, you know, let's get some spotting on that Benson. Give him something to shoot at. Four, five, four, five, six. Avoid the gearing. Position on for a run on Fat Freddy. Come on, Shima. You've got an easy target there. Seriously, how did you miss? Maybe you can do it better. Nope. Okay, can anyone hit that Benson? Let me rephrase. Can anyone hit that Benson hard enough to kill it? Standing by for instructions. Over. Four, five, six. Positioned again. Pull the fighters back. Um, position to tackle Freddy. Right then. Let's see how this goes. Line it up. Set it up. He's not turning commit the attack now he's turning back it off oh defensive fire from the gearing as well i can't say i'm surprised but we've got most of the torpedoes in the water break away and run still clipped him pretty hard but again lost pretty much all the torpedo bombers because <laughs> yeah and still no one's murdered the benson I don't know what to say. Um, can any, does they want even have a line of fire to the Benson? Also, lost more fighters. <sighs> right. The reason I was wondering why he didn't ram, because I could see he wasn't going to get out of that channel alive, so ramming would at least have taken a battleship from a battleship. It would have been a straight trade. Finally, somebody murdered the Benson. Also, now I've got my fighters out of position. Ah, this is the problem with a two-fighter loadout. If you get it wrong, they can... You can't have a squadron everywhere at once, especially when they're packing a ton of anti-air. Well, he's done what he can, but it's not going to be enough, and I am falling down badly on the job here. Well, at least I can punish him for it. Okay. Target. Yeah, that's evasive maneuvers. And that's just how frustrating it is to have a juicy nut. Those are auto drops? Huh. Well, auto drop or not, he's making me look like an idiot. Four, five, six, right. Target the Missouri. Problem is... 
cover that squad and rearm them. Alright, where's the Missouri? Pulling away. Uh, there's the Iowa. Probably a better target. The fact remains that if I was on the ball, he shouldn't be able to get a squadron through. Well, if you know where to get a teleporter and rocket assisted fighters, Ollie, I'd love. Please let me know because right now, the simple fact is that I only have one squadron in the air, and as I say, they can't be everywhere. Right, so. Dispatch. Actually, save ammo. Set group. F don't need to. Four, five, six. Again, tracking the Iowa, but this is the absolute worst possible target solution to have on this guy. Okay, go for that. He's going to be turning. But on the bright side, at least we're getting some shots off. Now the question is, can he torpedo beat? Of course he can. Still, I'll settle for two. Yeah, pretty, pretty much the case, especially when everything, and I mean everything on their team, was packing significant quantities of flag. Even spotting was a uh, good way to lose planes in this game. Still, 60,000 damage on what is frankly a god-awful performance. CV cover B, please. Ha 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 I sometimes think a lot of people don't appreciate that it's all very well to say cover B. Um, uh, clans with a lot of USS backs, no, they are not. The black is tier 9, it will not be in clan wars. So, no, they won't. At least, I think blacks are tier 9. Well, there's a simple fact that black black is tier nine, isn't it? It's not going to be in clan wars. Ready. Ready for okay, finally, something I can murder. Right, excuse me, I have got a lot of aggression to work out here. Enemy. Seriously. Two poxy... The Zal is that's about all that I'm good for. Where are my fighters? Back end of nowhere. What the hell are his fight? Is this guy doing? So my bot's gone. <sighs> uh, 
just uh, just, uh, that's going to be one of those games I just don't want to think about too much. <sighs> 30 kills against the strike legs, that's disgustingly bad, even in a graph. Well, I suppose I can try and go for secondaries. Yay! <laughs> Just fire up the defensive. Knock that. Knock that bomber down? No. No. Can't even kill a single bomber with defensive fire. Ugh. And just totally out of position to handle all my sorts. Really off balance. Okay, I am going to give it one more game, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm clearly getting tired. My gameplay is suffering quite badly. So, just kill that torpedo bomber. There we go. Give it one more in the uh, hang 'em high, and then we'll call it there. Ugh. Not a good game at all, that one. Really embarrassing. Should have murdered. That strike Lex should have been, frankly, kicked seven ways to Sunday. Uh, even if I couldn't have touched half of the other guys because of their flak loadout. Somehow we won in the Cleveland. Oh yes, that was what we were going to do, wasn't it? Actually have a fire starting game in the Cleveland and see how that went for reference. Right, go. Yes, I am aware that I'm passing up on Adrenaline Rush again. But, ooh, lots of battleships to bully. Ha ha. And it's, um, okay, hotspot with a hero, although he's up against a Saipan, so, mm, that could be rough for him. And, well, a lot of battleships. Well, it's Bernie time, ladies and gentlemen. It is very definitely Bernie time. I can see Grozovoy getting picked, Ollie, purely because it's one of the two things that can consistently chase down the Shimakaze. Um, if you slap Sierra Mike on it, it outruns her by half a knot. So that would be my thought. People will take her as a destroyer chase if they're not comfortable with Havrosk. Eight. Oh, he is, is he? Ha. Huh. Yes, good point. Well, let's see. Don't worry, Bucky, we'll do our best. If nothing else, we should be able to provide decent anti-air cover into A. They nerfed the anti-air quite considerably. What you've got now is essentially a, I suppose, turbo gearing with Russian guns, but some slightly inferior torpedoes. Also, I've been spotted, which is somewhat annoying. Start jinking. Something's got line of sight, which means it's on the approach from the south. And oh, there we go. Hello. Oh boy, that's a lot of incoming armor piercing. Ow, 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 ow. Never mind, duck into the smoke, which is really just inviting torpedoes. But there's one launch, two launches. Where's the third launch from the Akatsuki? There it is. Okay, fine. Ah, right. Bucky's put a slightly more sensible launch spread down. There's the mark. All stations. 
I'm fine till we have a decent bearing. And then let's start by bullying the monarch. 30 seconds. Full reverse position to re-engage. Oh, and yep. Caught the Akatsuki with torpedoes. Ha ha. Crap, turpits. Luckily he was shooting at something else. But as noted before, having some trouble holding the guns on target, even with the Cleveland to a full power turn, so time to disappear. By which I mean get round the corner of this island and valiantly, valiantly run away. Oh boy, incoming! Good thing that Turpitz doesn't appear to be spec for no fun mode. Okay, disappear around the corner. And again, maybe you didn't need to be spec for it. Royal Navy cruiser firing armor piercing? Heresy! Heresy, I tell you! Also, could you please stop shooting at me, guys? This is not fun. Smack the outer go just to give it something to look at. Oh, pan pack a pan. Right, turpit's gone thanks to the saipan. Uh, Monarch severely battered if we can lock on before someone pops the new boat button. And when we're at it, proper defensive fire. Bit of overkill, but frankly at this point, planes is bad. Go away, play. Oh, what was that? Oh, nuts. Okay, this is a bad place to be. And you know how I said the uh, rudder being jammed wasn't an issue? Yeah, it's totally an issue. Cleveland can just about hold it at full power. Oh look, six ships locked onto me. Um, hi, fix that rudder. If nothing else, we can target the girder and make it regret breaking cover like that. What else is shoot? Seriously, an Ognivoy at that kind of range? Where did he come from? Okay, um, right, well... We need to decide who to, who to murder. Right, torpedo beat there. Can't fix that fire. T-22's going to get a shot on me first, so... Come on, track round, track round, track round, track round. I'm not going to get the shot before... God damn, how did the Russian get round there? <sighs> yeah, I am off my game. So I think I am going to call it there, ladies and gentlemen. The Hang Hei, I think we've established that she's... Very much a harassing ship is probably the best way to describe her. Lord though, she's not meant for a main battle line or pushing a cap or trying to defend anything really except in the kite away and hope nobody looks at you funny. But ladies and gentlemen, that has been Shipstream for the 2nd of October. I have been Israel. And I am off to go and try and find a book labelled How to Play World of Warships. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid you've joined just in time for the end of the stream. 
Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, farewell.